City leaders in Desert Hot Springs are responding to a video shared widely on social media groups after a police officer shot and killed a dog. I can understand some of the emotions that would come into play here. This is an emotional situation. I'm an animal lover myself. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price has been asking questions all day. Hey Mi Miyoshi, what can you tell us about this? Hi Karen, as police continue to investigate what happened at the scene, they are not releasing the body camera footage, but after city officials saw the comments on social media, they are now sharing their own video in an effort to provide more context to what happened. A note to you at home, we want to advise you some of the video may be disturbing to many viewers. We know it's an emotionally charged situation, but we're trying to get through the investigation. A video posted on social media shows a dog that was killed by a Desert Hot Springs police officer Tuesday. Deputy City Manager Doria Wilms says the viral video caused reaction. She tells us she saw body camera footage with her own eyes, saying the officer backed away twice before protecting himself. With assumptions that the dog was actually shot while it was nursing its puppies. And so while maybe some in the community didn't know that or, or believe that, there were unfortunately others that didn't. The city posted this Facebook response, their goal to clear up misinformation. A full-size pit bull mixed dog escaped from its makeshift enclosure. The dog aggressively ran towards the officer. The officer attempted to back away from the dog, but the dog continued to advance towards the officer in an aggressive manner. City officials say in the last week and a half, police have been to that location twice, both for dog attacks. While the investigation continues, Wilms urges people to properly secure their pets. That, that's the most important way that we can protect our animals is by being responsible pet owners. That's first and foremost. She says the officer involved has received threatening messages that they are also now investigating. Live in studio, Miyoshi Price, News Channel 3.